Hey, what's going on guys? First Tech Pop here and this is the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 review. So unluckily for me, it didn't come right on time when most people had theirs and that's the challenge you face when you're a very small YouTuber. So I've been using it for some days now and I am super excited to share my thoughts, what I think about it, cause on this channel, the aim is to always give you my very honest review to help you make a purchase decision. But before I begin, please kindly hit on that subscribe button to join this awesome family and turn on your bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So this is it. If you want to make an upgrade, this is how you do it. I mean, coming from the 2019 Y9, I would say everything what we has done here is positive. Starting from the pop-up selfie camera, which is one of the key selling factors, the triple camera behind, the new zero bezel, the price and the whole design. So the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 has an impressive design that strikes the balance between aesthetics and quality. In one word, it is just beautiful, it looks stunning, it is modern and very attractive. The Y9 Prime 2019 is made from plastic, but the craftsmanship here is amazing. It doesn't feel or look cheap in any sense. It is well made and I must commend Huawei for what they've done here. Switching over to a USB Type-C is a welcome addition, cause that will further expand its flexibility. However, the device is on a bulky side, it feels heavy at 196.8 grams, it might be a deal breaker for some people. I believe the reason for this is the motorized pop-up selfie camera that needed more room to accommodate the mechanism. When you open the box, you are greeted with a device on top with a label that carries basic specs about the phone. Next is a small envelope that contains the SIM ejector tool, a user guide and a transparent silicon case. USB Type-C charging cable, a standard 10 watt charger and lastly the earpiece and that's pretty much it inside the box. The Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 has an impressive 6.5 to 9 inch full HD plus display which is slightly bigger than the Y9 2019 which had a 6.5 inch display. It uses an IPS panel that has a 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio with a pixel density of 391. It is sharp with good viewing angles and the colors are very accurate at best. But then, I somehow wish it had AMOLED display which would have taken it to a whole new dimension. I believe most of the decision of what we made was to deliver a decent device with a very modest price. Watching online videos is capped at 1080p resolution and it is very impressive. Because of the positively huge display that has nothing to obstruct your viewing experience. Overall, the display is very good. On the spec sheet, the Huawei Y9 Prime packs Huawei's own high silicon carrying 710F octa-core CPU that is slightly faster than the Y9 2019. If you use both at the same time, you will hardly tell the difference. However, you will appreciate it more when you play heavy games like PUBG and other CPU intensive games. It comes with a 4GB of RAM, a 128GB of internal storage expandable via micro AC card up to 1TB, EMUI version 9 on top of Android 9 Pi and what is keeping the light on is a 4000mAh paper 3. Performance on this guy is rock solid. I've had this phone for some days now and I've been using it ever since I got it and I must say I am very impressed with the performance. Although it is not the best that I've tried and the 4GB of RAM seems small but then I haven't really noticed any performance drop. Playing games, browsing the web and general multitasking is very ok. Benchmark scores shows impressive numbers and it is very ok. However, there are some minimal lags when you are much heavy with multiple apps running in the background. Other than that, the experience is very smooth. EMUI is decent in so many ways even though I'm not a fan. I believe it is long overdue for a makeover. I like the fact that it is well optimized. There are little to no blue ways and some of it can be uninstalled if it bothers you. The Y9 Prime 2019 does not include a first unlock. I believe this was done to extend the longevity of the moving part and also because the pop-up camera itself is slow to pop out. It has about 2 to 3 second delay so it wouldn't be a nice idea to add a first unlock to the already slow mechanism. Another thing to note is most first unlock found on some Android devices do not offer real protection or security. 
So the finger print is the best option and the one found on the Y9 Prime is very decent and fast. It works 90% of the time and it is more secure. The Y9 Prime 2019 packs three cameras at the back. A 16 megapixels camera with an f1.8 aperture, an 8 megapixels ultra wide sensor, and a 2 megapixels f2.4 depth sensor. The Y9 Prime takes sharp and detailed images in good lighting conditions. High dynamic range is decent and colors are mostly accurate. In most cases, the highlight is handled properly. I like how the image pops with vivid colors and low light images is decent as well. For what you're paying for, it is not the best, but you can never go wrong with it. The wide angle camera is decent as well. The image it produces is sharp and high dynamic range is great. Images from the selfie camera is sharp with decent amount of details. Colors are very accurate. High dynamic range is great and the overall image quality is very good. Portrait images appear decent as well, but edge detection can be a hit or miss sometimes. And the image appears softer than I might like it to be. The y Prime records video in 1080p resolution and it is decent with good high dynamic range. However, it lacks video stability, thus resulting in a shaky footage. But overall, the details are okay. The y Prime packs an impressive 4000 mAh battery and it is excellent. It can comfortably take you for a day and a half before needing to recharge. And when it's time to juice it back, the included 10 watt charger does a pretty decent job. It takes about 2 hours 30 minutes to completely juice it up from 0 to 100%. So, the Huawei Y9 Prime is a major upgrade from the Y9 2019 in so many ways. It performs better, it is fast and the pop-up selfie camera is a step in the right direction. So, at 83,000 Naira, this phone is an easy recommendation for someone who wants a modest smartphone with all the latest ingredients and good performance. So that is it guys, share your thoughts with me in the comment section below, like and share this video to help someone make a purchase decision. Thank you so much for your time and watching and I'll talk to you in the next one, bye bye.